Each language has five levels, and most colleges expect that you take at least three levels of a class before you go to the college. And you get an image of what life is like in a foreign country like Spain or France. To help exhibit these and other cultures, there's a world language dinner that happens every year. Students and their families come to the school to eat food and listen to music from foreign cultures. There are many resources to help struggling students. Students study with tutors. There are some adult tutors provided by Yale Smith, but most students study with student tutors. These tutors are members of the World Language Honor Society and are inducted at the end of their sophomore year. They meet in a lab in the World Language Wing. For example, a student who is doing well in Spanish 2 may take Spanish 4 the next year. I personally accelerated past French 3 over the summer and it was a smooth transition. So if any of you are planning on accelerating, just know that it's not a difficult transition if you work at it.
Spanish is the most common choice for a language at Eosmith, and it has the most teachers. It is the second most spoken language in the entire world, with over 405 million native speakers. For me, Spanish is my fourth language, and I really, it really helped me a lot. In French classes, you learn about the pronunciation of French and the grammar, so the class focuses not only on speaking, but writing as well. There are also opportunities in French class to learn about different French cuisines. You also learn about the history of France, from the Renaissance to the Revolution. The class always exposes people to French culture, from famous musicians like Edith Piaf, to literature like Le Petit Prince, movies and paintings. You always have an experience with different cultures. I think my favorite memory of French class was, um, hosting an exchange student mm -hmm. because you kind of got to see firsthand what life was like uh, in Switzerland mm -hmm. and it was kind of fun showing them around America and what that was like. The history of Germany from the founding tribes up through the Cold War and to the modern Bundesrepublik Deutschland. Similar to Spanish, there is a poetry competition and a national exam that tests how well you know German. There are also multiple scholarship opportunities that do not exist for the other languages. The thing that I like most about German is that we're able to talk about it a lot and we use the language a lot instead of just sitting and taking notes and we're active in the classroom which is a lot of fun. German is a really great language to take because the classroom is a super friendly environment and the teachers will always be there to help you after school and it's really surprising because you'd think that it'd be a really hard language with pronunciation and stuff but it's actually really easy and the Learning Latin can be very useful later in life because it makes it easier to understand law and medicine, which involve Latin terminology. It also serves as the basis for other languages such as Spanish, French, and Italian. Both the fourth and fifth level of Latin can earn you college credit, and there's a national Latin exam. There is no Latin exchange, but there is a trip to Italy that happens once every two years and an annual field trip to State Latin Day, which is a gathering of Latin students from around Connecticut to celebrate Roman culture and traditions. Latin is so much fun, and one of the things that makes it really special is that you get to learn lots of ancient history in the context of learning your language and your vocab. So some of it is grammar and some of it is memorizing vocabulary, but all of that works into the readings from the textbooks, which actually teach you about real historical events. But I also learned the history and culture behind everyone that spoke Latin,